Hello and welcome to Liquid Space Devlog number four. My name is Benjamin Kramer, but today you can call me Michael Bay because I have ascended beyond game developer, okay? I'm a filmmaker now. That's right, today we are talking cutscenes. I have been hard at work learning Unreal Engine's sequencer tool and adding in some very basic cutscenes to my game, which I think it has been sorely needing for a while now. So, we'll be walking through four cutscenes that I've been working on in the past few weeks, go over some of my inspiration, some of my thoughts for when I was making these cutscenes, and then stick around to the end for some other fun stuff I've been working on. So the first boss to get the cutscene treatment was the octopus boss. So this was actually my first time ever making a cutscene in Unreal or even a cutscene at all. So with this in mind, the octopus boss was actually a perfect place to kind of get my feet wet because I knew I wanted to keep it simple and I had a really clear idea of what I wanted with the octopus. I wanted to really sell the size and I wanted to make it daunting. And that's pretty easy to do, just a nice low camera angle and a little bit of camera shake. For a point of reference, I looked to Pokemon Sword and Shield dynamaxing mechanic. It's a pretty simple cutscene, much like this one, but it does a good job of, again, selling that size. For the outro, I again kept it simple by just having this pan away while the octopus sort of deflates and then sinks back into the pool. You are not gonna find brave, bold camera shots like these in a Tarantino film, let me tell you. In all seriousness, these cutscenes did help me get more comfortable with the sequencer tool, but I still kept it pretty simple with the intro sequence for the first boss of the game. With this one, I did experiment more with the path that the camera follows. It sort of follows a corkscrew as it comes down from the sky with the boss. This one needed to feel intimidating and mysterious, and that low camera angle again came in handy for that. Overall, I think this one needs a little bit of work. The scene is a bit too bright, which really works against that mysterious, intimidating feeling I'm going for. However, I think it's a good starting point. I think it's short, sweet, and gets right to the point. And that brings us to the last cutscene, the outro to the same boss. With this one, I tried to push myself a bit more, incorporating animations, multiple different moving parts and effects, and a more complicated action overall. It came out okay. It's cool, but it feels pretty flat. It's gonna need a lot more work to get just right. So with four animations mostly under my belt, I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable with making cutscenes in the game. There's a lot of places that still desperately need it. For instance, the ice level, well, it needs a lot of work. But definitely needs a cutscene and it will be getting one once I update the mesh, update the animations for that boss and make it a bit more clean because it's a bit under polished. But what else was done since last time? Well, I remembered audio was a thing that games need and use and are important. So I added lots of sound effects to the octopus boss. I think I found some really great audio samples for the octopus boss, so I'm happy to have that done. Also, I finally finished the model for Vina, who is the god of Vina's dimension, the stage I've been showing a lot in these past few videos. I gave him a simple idle animation and added him to his stage. I think it's really cool to just have him follow the player, and I think he gives a lot of presence to the environment. But that is it for Liquid Space Devlog number four. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're interested in what I'm doing here. Comment on what you think about these cutscenes. My name is Benjamin Kramer. Thanks for watching.